Hello everyone, Amy here again. Today I will teach you how to use Fry E3 Pro V3 board installing Clipper tutorial. Now let's preparation before work. We need one piece Fly E3 Pro V3 board. Yes, that is a very good quality and you can see it. Yes. And now we need a host computer such as Flygemini V2.0 or FlyPi board or Raspberry Pi and so on. So here we use FlyPi to be our host computer. Okay. Now, yes. Yes, okay, we need one piece Wi-Fi connector and two SD cards, yes, and one USB disk and one Type-C USB cable. Okay, now first we need to download the image. Open our tutorial page. Yes, find the system image and download it, yes. Here it is very details that we can follow here. Okay, now we need to download this, the latest uh, image. Yes? Okay, now, and we can insert the SD card into the U disk. Yes, the card reader and connect to the computer. Yes? Now we can open the software. Yes, over there we need install this one and now click flash from fear to select the previously downloaded system image field and select target. Yes, select and click flash. Yes, this will take about four or six minutes. So we need to wait it patiently. Now let's insert the SD card into the our host computer fly pipe board. Yes, over there. And now let's insert the Wi-Fi connector. Yes, over there. And then we need use tab C USB to connect the computer. Okay. Now it is OK. Next, we need to connect to SSH. We need to prepare our SSH terminal tools in advance and connect the motherboard to the computer. Yes, now we can see the CH340 port. Yes, now open the terminal tools yes light link a session yes and the Sarah and choose the port according to the devils manager yes this one and choose this one is 115200 yes okay now if everything is connect normal you can see the start up screen yes now we can enter NMTUI to active a Wi-Fi connector. A window pops up, select active Wi-Fi connection, and then select a Wi-Fi name, yes, and enter the password. Then, let's wait until asterisk appears next to the Wi-Fi name. Yes? Here it is. Now, let's press ESC to return to the interface and then enter IPA to view the router address. Yes, IP address. Let's copy the IP address to the browser and open it. Now this is a Clipper 
interface and now copy this IP address, go to the terminal interface and uh, click session and click SSH and put here, yes. and write down fly yes and okay yes accept yes accept it and now we can write down the password Milo yes and cancel now is connect SSH successfully then we can enter cd clipper and execute the following commands in scary after entering the command you need to enter before make kni yes next one is make kni yes copy and Paste. Okay, enter. Yes. Now let's copy make menu config. Yes. Then it will pop up a window. The clip compilation configuration interface should now appear. Okay, this one we need to select STM32. Yes, this one right. And the next one we need to choose. Yes, F407. Yes. Okay, the next, no need to change. Okay, now let's press Q and Y key to display save configuration and now you should save the configuration and exit to the common line interface enter make gang j4 to start the compilation yes let's wait about a few minutes yes if the following finger shows that the compilation is successful. Yes, now let's insert the SD card into the UDIS and connect to the computer. Yes. Now let's enter the clipper folder and enter the outer folder. Let's find the clipper the bin. Yes, over there, let's drag the clipper the bin to the computer desktop or our SD card. Yes, and now let's rename it to firmware the bin. Yes, now let's pull out the SD card and insert the SD card into the Fly E3 Pro V3 board, yes, over there. And power on the motherboard and wait for about 10 seconds. Yes, it will. Yes, now let's pull out the SD card and insert the SD card into the U disk again, connect to the computer. Let's find if the firmware the bin in the SD card and disappears and flag here, it means that the installing clipper is successful. Yes, that is all for today. Thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye.